So I was in the middle of a project when I blew the GFCI up. That's on the same breaker. It only seems to happen when you're in the middle of using it. This is a new workspace for me, and what I didn't know about it was that all the outlets in the garage are all wired to the same outlet. I had my table saw, my dust collector, all running at the same time. Definitely enough to overload this. Thankfully, it's an easy fix. You just hit the reset button. I actually had this happen once before, where after the button switched, it actually melted and broke the plastic. I had to replace the GFCI outlet, and it looks like I'm gonna have to do that again here. When you're working with electricity, you have to be certain the power's off. Now, I could use one of these multimeters, but I also happen to have an extension cord handy, one of these where the end lights up. Power's off. Remember, if you're testing to see if a circuit has power with a lamp or a nightlight, or in this case, an extension cord, you want to make sure it actually works first before you test your outlet. This one works. Not so fast. Remember, that's a GFCI outlet. When that trips, the wires behind it are still live, even if the outlet is dead. We're gonna need to turn the power off in the breaker box. With the power off, it's time to fix it. Time to swap it out with an old one I found laying around. So these type of GFCI outlets have the same type of color coding as regular outlets, that is the bronze, goes to the black or hot wire and the uh, chrome or nickel plated screws go to the white or neutral wire. But GFCI outlets also have an additional feature to it and that's called a line and a load. The bottom is going to be a line on this one and the top is the load. What that means is power from the box is provided to the line side of this. Then other outlets along the chain can get connected to the load terminals. And what will happen if that's done is if any ground fault happens at any of the other outlets, this breaker will trip. You want to make sure your line and load wires are wired correctly. What is this? That is unbelievable. See that flat mark on the neutral wire? That's what the screw was touching. It was not touching the copper. They inserted it too deeply before they tightened it, and it wasn't making contact. At least not well enough. That's a fire hazard. Don't make that mistake. Oh, look at this. Also, you want to make sure that the wires are run in the direction of tightening the screw. Here, the copper line is run opposite, which means as you tighten the screw, it opens up the loop which could lead to a poor connection. Don't do it that way. What the hell? Are these wires live? How are they live? So sometimes things don't always go as planned. For example, a four hour wild goose chase trying to track down an errant wire who wasn't showing any voltage. When it should have had voltage, the breaker was on. The other outlets on the breaker had voltage, but this one didn't. Was the problem in the wall? Was the problem where it terminated? Was the problem at the other end? But the other ones weren't off, but then those were on. And I did finally resolve the problem. It did take four hours. And admittedly, I did not carry my camera around with me the entire time to record exactly how frustrating it was. So to spare you, I made a short, dramatic reenactment of what happened over the last four hours. What? But what? This isn't... But it's not even... But it doesn't... This doesn't make any sense. Oh, come on! No, that's not it either. Is it dead too? Does anything work? But there's no way that it could. How do you even? What a chair. Where is this? Where is this one going? Oh, I don't want to do.
do this anymore. The attic light, that's where it's going. Oh, what the hell? But why would it? So here's what actually happened. I overloaded the circuit and tripped the GFCI outlet. Usually when that happens, it doesn't also pop the circuit breaker. That happened in this instance. What I didn't know was that the outlets in the garage are not on the breaker marked garage. They're on a breaker called WP. What does WP even mean? Always label your circuits correctly. Here's the weird thing. When that sparked, it tripped a different circuit breaker, not the one it was on. The circuit below it, bedroom two, tripped. Yes, a circuit, a completely different circuit, blew when that sparked. Why would that even happen? The reason it happened is because this is a ground fault interrupt circuit, which means the neutral doesn't run just to the neutral bus, it runs to the outlet as well. There must have been some type of a back current along the neutral rail that triggered the next in line GFCI outlet. So naturally, I thought that's the circuit that that outlet is on. It was the only one in here that actually had turned off when it arced. So here's another funny quirk about GFCI outlets. If the main breaker trips and there's no voltage to it, you can't reset them. It's probably not broken. It just lost power from the main breaker. That means this is still good and didn't have to get replaced at all, actually. And with five hours worth of work trying to fix a GFCI outlet that wasn't broken, all I needed to do was to turn the correct circuit breaker off and then on again. And with the power restored to the circuit, it clicks back on now. Yep. And we're just gonna relabel this one. Garage lights, garage and outside outlets.